Good morning. Oh, I'm on the way to work. I got the bike in the back seat here. Um, today, what I plan to do is drop the bike off to have it worked on. Um, well, just the wheels. I'm going to do a lot of the work myself. Then I'm going to go home and I'm going to build some battery packs. I'm going to wrap up those uh, sealed lead acid batteries in groups of three and I'm gonna wire them up. Um, I got some 36 volt intelligent chargers uh, on the way. They should be here in a couple of weeks. So I was afraid that I was gonna have to wire the packs up with a, with a 12 volt parallel connector and a 36 volt serial connector so that I would have one plug for power and you know powering the bike and one plug for charging on my little 12 volt charger but I found those cheap 36 volt chargers uh, on eBay. It's 18 bucks for two of them, it's great. They're intelligent, so they go through all the proper stages of sealed lead acid battery charging. Um, and I forget what it is, but it's like bulk something, float, trickle. Um, yeah, and it's gonna, you know, it's gonna work out so I can build the packs in a more simple fashion. I still, since I have, I'll have three chargers, two 36 volt chargers and one 12 volt charger I may just wire them with the uh, the dual cables anyway, so that I can have more packs charging around town. Uh, I want to have a pack charging at home, a pack charging at work, and a pack charging at my fiance's house, so that because uh, they're all kind of in a straight line for where I need to go, and I'll always be able to just swap packs out since lead acid isn't going to give me very much range. Uh, anyway, yeah. So today you're probably going to see me go to the bike shop for the bike. And you're probably going to see me wrapping up and wiring and soldering some uh, sealed lead acid battery packs for use in a 36 volt bicycle system. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be pretty wrecked in about four hours. It's a quick little shift and it, it's a really active job. So the next time you see me, I'm probably going to be a, a sweaty guy. Because remember, I, I was sick yesterday and I'm still a little sick, a little congested. But I'm feeling good, feeling strong, as my cousin says. So, all right, uh, the, the next scene is probably going to be me doing interesting things. Oh, my cousin wanted me to turn the camera sideways when I talk to it uh, to get rid of those black bars. Is this better? That does it for work. It was a quick four hours. Now I'm going to head down to College Park Bicycle because they are cheaper than Proteus and they have an awesome spare parts bin that I can pick through. Uh, then I'm going to head up to Beltsville to go to Mark's Electronics. I love that place. It's so awesome. And now that Radio Shack doesn't exist any longer, I have more excuses to go there. Um, going to get the stuff to wire the batteries together in a pack. So you're going to see me do that today also. Pulling into College Park Bicycle. Well, anyway, that used to be where it was. I know they're still in business, so now it's time to hit Google. There it is. Two blocks down the street. Right across from the Zip Dry Cleaner. Okay, here's my $40 thrift store bike. It's a really good one. All Shimano, Shimano crank, Shimano derailleur. Shimano everything. Um, nice brakes. Everything worked great. It rides good. Uh, I'm going to completely get rid of the crank, so I might be able to trade that in. I'm going to completely get rid of this derailleur, so I'm probably going to trade that in. Uh, you can see here's the bolt-on chain wheel from the old gas kit, and it bolts directly to the spokes. That's horrible. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to have that wheel trued up. I'm going to have that wheel trued up. Uh, these are the shifters it came with, the really nice trigger shifters. I would like to keep those, but they're built into the brake handles. And I, the electric kit has brake handles that have an electric cutoff. So I'm going to have to probably try to trade both of these in for maybe one individual trigger shifter. Um, so it won't get in the way of the brake handles that came with the kit. So I don't need either of these. I don't need this entire crank. I don't even need the seat because I'm gonna replace it with something that doesn't chaff my thighs. So, I'm gonna bring it in. Um, 
Yeah, I got rid of the grips because it comes with its own grips. <clears throat> uh, wait, no it doesn't, but I wanted to replace the grips anyway. Because the gas kit, I had the throttle for the gas kit on there, so yeah, it's all a mess. But the bike is still in good shape. A couple of chip spots, but that's okay. I plan on replacing this bike one day anyway. Um, yeah, so let's go inside and see what I can work out. Uh, okay, that's done. The place was a zoo, so I didn't film anything inside. The new location doesn't do parts trade-ins anymore. That's only up in the Mount Airy location, and I'm not going all the way up there. So, you know, they took the wheels. I don't know if you can see that. Took the wheels. They're going to true them up. 30 bucks for the pair. Not bad, unless they find something uh, really nasty when they remove the motor sprocket from the rear wheel. But I guess I can use Craigslist to get rid of the crank and the shifter brake combos. Uh, I'll find something. Anyway, on to the electronics store. The biggest reason why I'm doing this is College Park traffic. Look at this. I'm at a green light. This is crazy. I can do anything. Take a look. It's in a book. A reading rainbow. Reading rain. Thanks. Okay, this is Mark's Electronics. This place is awesome. Doodly do. It's like Radio Shack on steroids. I'm gonna find my things and then you're gonna see what I bought. God, they have everything. They have everything. Uh, what did I get? Well, I got the red and black heat shrink tube because I have the right gauge wires at home, but it's the wrong color wire. So I got this so that I can tell my positive from my negative. I also got to do some math um, while I was nodding off and going to sleep standing up there. So that's probably not good math. I got these inline fuse connectors. I was trying to find the right kind of fuse. Um, and just going by amps, something tells me that's not right because all the amps of, of those fuses are automotive fuses and they're rated for like th that amperage at 12 volts, which is a different wattage, different heat, different, you know, and it's the heat that melts the, the fuse. So I'm trying to figure out, since I'm running a 36 volt system, uh, what what amperage fuse do I need and so I was, you know I was doing current equals uh, power over volts for DC and I just I need to take a nap so that I can figure that out before I you know but I'm gonna wire in this connector into the battery pack and then I'm just gonna refresh and figure the math uh, I also have these blade connectors that go for uh, 12 to 10 gauge wire, male and female. These are gonna work great for linking the batteries together. I'm probably gonna strip this insulation off of them so that I can solder the connectors. It's gonna work a lot better. Um, and what I'm so exhausted right now. It, ugh. I forgot where I was. Anyway, I'm gonna go home, take a shower, take a nap, and then uh, put these together. I solved the problem. It was that I hadn't eaten anything today. So, yeah, uh, amps is a function of uh, <clears throat> watts over volts. 20 amp fuse is gonna work fine for me. So I'm gonna run to College Park Bicycle, pick up the wheels, I'm gonna blast, uh, I'm gonna uh, take the bike frame through a car wash, then I'm going to go home and, and like I said, shower and nap, and then I'm gonna build those packs. So I got into my driveway at home, and College Park Bicycle called, and the wheel's done, so now I'm going to drive the half hour back to College Park Bicycle and the half hour back to home. I think it's a half hour. I mean, with the traffic, it's usually a half hour. I'm taking the back ways. So the front wheel was slightly elliptical, but uh, they say it's well within safe riding tolerances. So, yippee!
Well, I have all the stuff together, but I'm not going to get to build this this time. I'm sorry. You're going to have to wait until tomorrow. I have double-sided tape here, outdoor mounting tape to stick the batteries together. I'm going to wrap them in tape, put a strap around them so I can pick them up. I'm going to wire them together using these connectors and this wire. And then I'm going to color code the wire with this heat shrink. And I'm going to be doing a lot of it as I figure it out. I'm going to wire this in line with the positive so that it can be fused. Uh, all kinds of fun stuff tomorrow. But for now, I'm going to clean the bedding in my hamster enclosure. And then I'm going to go to my fiance's house because I promised her waffles. <laughs>